welcome to the Diving Head First. So for Mother's Day, getting a present for my mom is always a bit hard because she's not a girly girl. So she doesn't like makeup or going to the spa or things like that. And she's allergic to flowers. So it's always a bit of a challenge finding her a good Mother's Day present. But last year I decided to make her a tote bag because she does religion classes and like always has uses tote bags to carry her books and one thing moms are always ha love to get is things that their kids made especially when they're an adult they recognize that it's a big thing for you to spend take time at your busy schedule to actually make them something so last year I made my mom a tote bag it's a slightly different pattern than the one I'm going to show you today, but yeah, so today I'm going to show you how to do make a tote bag. Well, of course you can make this just for yourself or any other time of the year, but this was my Mother's Day idea, so this is that's why I decided to post it around Mother's Day to give the idea for anybody else who has a mom who doesn't like traditional Mother's Day presents. So let's get started. The supplies you will need for this project are half a yard of your outside top fabric, one third yard of your outside bottom fabric, half a yard of your inside fabric, straight pins, webbing for a strap, thread, scissors, and a pencil or marker to mark your fabric. To get started, cut two pieces of your top outside fabric to 17 inches by 12 inches. Cut two pieces of your bottom outside fabric to 17 inches by 8 inches. Your inside fabric you're going to cut two pieces of 17 by 20 inches. Sew together your top and bottom pieces, right sides facing each other. Sorry, I forgot to shoot pinning this. Once you have both pieces sewn together, lay them right face together on top of each other and pin them together. Make sure to pin at the seam so that your extra fabric does not fold in a weird way. Once you've pinned your outside fabric, take your inside fabric and pin that together right side facing each other. Make sure to leave the top side open. You're only going to be sewing three sides. Now sew all the way around all three sides on your outside fabric and your inside fabric. On your outside fabric, make sure to hold down the seam from when you join the top and the bottom fabric together so that it will lay flat. Now you're going to make the box corners by going inside the pocket you've created and at the corner you're going to flatten it out so that the seam is going down the center of the triangle. Once you have your corner flat, measure out how wide you want your bag to be. I did about two inches, which is a kind of like standard kind of tote bed, but if you want to do wider then just, you could just measure in. Just measure it to make sure that you do the same amount on all your corners. Do it on both corners of your inside fabric and both corners of your outside fabric. Once you have marked all your corners, sew a straight line right where you marked. Once you have each of the corners sewn, you can cut off the excess fabric. Now turn your outside fabric right side out. And then place your inside fabric inside your outside fabric. Now measure out your straps. I used webbing, so I only just needed to measure out the length of 31 inches each. But if you want to use matching fabric, cut two pieces that are 31 inches by 4 inches and then fold over your fabric. Now it's time to pin everything together. I find it easier to pin each piece kind of individually and make sure then that everything lines up the way that it should be folded. And then as I have everything the way that I want it to be, then I, I go through and I pin everything all the way through. 
So I first folded in the edges of the outside fabric, then I folded in and pinned the edge of the inside fabric. Once I started placing the straps, I pinned those all the way through all three layers. And once all four points of the straps were in place, I went around and repinned all of the folds so that they were going through all the layers. Once you have everything pinned in place, sew a seam all the way around the edge of your bag. I hope you liked this video and if you did hit that thumbs up button or leave me a comment below and if you want to see more videos like this I post new videos every Wednesday. Subscribe to get notifications of when the videos go up. Talk to you guys later. Bye!